Hi guys, Mrs. Jacobs here with another Fun Fact Friday. Today we're going to be continuing off our physics series and we're going to learn today about magnets and magnetism. So, I have two bar magnets here. The north labeled in red and the south labeled in blue. If I try and why this is covered in plastic will become clear now, so just wait for that. But if I try to push two souths together, there is a force, quite difficult, there is a force of repulsion that stops me from being able to force them together. It takes a significant amount of arm movement to force these to actually touch. However, if I take the north side, and put it near the south side. Not only do they touch, but they don't want to separate. We can see magnetism in some objects, but not in others. It depends on the chemical properties. So I have here some sand and some iron filings. And keeping this magnet nice and safe and clean in a piece of plastic, I'm going to put a green piece of paper on top. Now I'm going to take some sand and pour it all over where the magnet was. No effect from the sand. The sand remains exactly where I poured it. Gravity is stronger than magnetism because magnetism is not having an effect here. However, If I now switch to iron filings, closer to the magnet, these iron filings form along the magnetic field lines from the north and south poles. If I were to put these off to the edge where the magnet is not found, we see they have no effects of magnetism around the corners. But along the middle, as I pour, we can see the filings moving in. And we can see those filings joining the existing filings and forming the magnetic field light. This is an easy way for us to see the magnetic field. But this is a temporary magnetic display. Because the moment I take these iron filings away, I can pour them into the correct cup very easily. And I can repeat the process over and over Every time we do this, we will see the same magnetic field lines coming up around this magnet. So these are things we can do just with magnets. But magnetism has a very other, very fun, very useful effect. And that is known as electromagnetic induction. Now, Mr. Crichton did a wonderful video on this, so I'm not going to repeat that video. I'm just going to show you one small aspect of it. Here I have a second magnet that is nice and clean. I have a coil of copper wires wrapped around some wood. Connected to that coil, I have two cables. Those connect here to an ammeter. Now, as you can currently see, the ammeter is showing no current flowing through the circuit. And there is no hidden anything. This is not plugged in. There is absolutely nothing fancy going on here. Just a little bit of science. So if I take this magnet and I move it inside this coil, I change the magnetic field inside the coil. And by doing so, I generate with my own hand, some current. And we can see that current coming up. 
So here we see, as I'm moving and the faster I move, the faster the ammeter moves. The slower I move, the slower the ammeter moves. Okay? The further the distance I go in and out, the wider it seems to move. This is one way that we can actually generate electricity. Come again next week to see the end of our Fun Fact Friday physics series before we move into a new series on chemistry. As always, have a good one.